Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. This is Donda's Life and today I wanted to unbox another one of my Spell Queen diamond paintings. I had four, I've already done one. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up above. But I want to show you what their kit looks like as well as what this next canvas looks like. So if you want to see that, stick around and we'll just get into it. So the first thing, I'm just going to move this up above here. First thing I'm going to show you is their kit. They have the most impressive kit that I have seen with any, what I've seen other people unboxing or what I have unboxed myself. This kit is the best of them all. So they do, they're running this promotion. I'm not sure if it's a promotion or if it's an all, all the time thing where you get to, if you order a diamond painting, you get to pick a free pen. And they have a couple of different designs. This is another one that came, but I've been keeping this kit together because I've already given away some of the pens and some of the contents of the other kits and then some of them I wanted to use. So. It comes with this pen. It's a very lightweight pen. It's not um, heavy. It, in fact, if anything, it's uh, top heavy. But this is so soft, like almost like a stress ball. You could just sit and pet it. <laughs> so the lid comes off. There is only a single placer on this pen. There is no way to put a multi-placer on it. But I thought it was really pretty. And it's just got some sparkles on the inside. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted to show you and I think it's a, a, a nice little touch that they do. I also like the bag that this comes in. It's actually pretty heavy duty so it protects the stuff that comes in the kits and unlike other diamond paintings that you'll get where your kit is um, in with your diamonds, this one the, because it's so big they put them in the box separately so I'm just going to take out the rest and show you what else you get. So you get a diamond pot that it has the Spell Queen logo on it. it. Also comes with four plates of wax on the inside. It is the darker colored wax. So my understanding is the darker the color, the better the wax. There you go. And you get four of those. If you're storing them in here, I personally don't um, store my wax inside one of these. I tried that and I didn't like it. So I would keep my uh, wax plates in here and then just when I'm doing a diamond painting, take one out. Um, but do remember that there are four and if you are dabbing inside of here, you also will need to remove uh, the plastic coating off of at least one side. I don't, oh, I'm not in the frame. There you go. So there is a plastic coating on both sides of the wax. The next thing that you get is a, another diamond painting pen and this one actually does have a four placer on it and it is a skinny tip so that's kind of cool. And then on this side is just the single placer and even just the pen itself. Like usually you'll get a pink pen or whatever color, but it, even the pen itself has some, has some sparkles on it. Um, and then you get a squishy and the squishy will fit on this pen or this pen, I would assume. Now that I'm using um, bigger pens, actually, I haven't had a chance to use a squishy, but I, I do think, again, it is a nice touch to have that in there. You also get a pair of the really good, I think these are the best tweezers so far that I've used. Um, so these, it's logoed again. I like that. They're pink instead of the black that I have. Super, like these tweezers are sharper than even my black tweezers are. And I don't know if they get more dull over time, but <laughs> they're dangerous, but they're useful. So I think I um, heard somebody else call them murder tweezers and they certainly could be that um, and I think that's just a really funny way of saying that they are incredibly sharp but I I do these are my favorite tweezers these ones are my and the black one that I have it that's the same are my favorite you also get a container a very small container it has uh, 12 sections in it and these ones just flip up they're they're kind of hard to open well, actually, I guess they're not that hard if you know how to do it, but I could see chipping a nail on those for sure. <laughs> um, and they don't hold a lot. They're, it's just a very tiny container, very, very slim. Um, this would be really good for, um, I like to think of these things as being like for a partial or a special drill um, or a very, very small diamond painting. And then the last thing is the tray. And these trays are fantastic. The ridges are really high on them. The ridges also come really uh, far up here so that 
uh, your rows could be a little bit longer and the sides are deep so that you can shake around really really well and it's logoed on the back as well so I that actually is I use these all the time in fact I have the other from the other kits already pulled out and then I use my small one if I have a small section but they have the spout I just find these these so far have been the best trays that I use so that is what a kit is and I'm just going to quickly put this all back together and now let's get on to the star of the show um, I untied this well like I I don't know if I actually said this or not but um, my camera went dead the first time I tried to film this and <laughs> Um, I didn't want to put the diamond painting or the diamonds back in here or try to because it was well it was an impossible okay you guys so this one is umbrellas in the rain again it's my favorite type it's kind of abstract it just kind of like the people look like shadows and then it looks like it's coming down into kind of puddles at the bottom and I just thought oh this is so so pretty so and I'm sorry that you're getting the glare off my lamp but I don't know how else to light this room I turned on my overhead light too uh, I'm gonna just really quickly show you come in here and show you the thumbnail that's what it looks like I just think it's so pretty and it's a 45 by 60 and I'm gonna just zoom you in but I wanted you to be able to see the drill field really well okay so drill field look at it you guys um, it is really really clear very clear and I'm just gonna see if I can go closer because I would like you guys to see maybe I need to there we go okay so also I had to I have to figure out where I am <laughs> because in my camera view because you're really really close so look at all the sparkles on this canvas I tried to show it in the last one and I didn't get it as well but you can clearly see it this entire canvas is covered it's sparkly I'm not sure if any other companies do this but it's very impressive and Honestly, when I'm looking through here, there are some dark, where are you? Dawn, find it. There are some dark colors with, uh, sorry, dark symbols with dark backgrounds, but they're, they don't look like they're difficult to read at all. And they don't seem to be beside, like there's not a whole bunch of dark separate colors all in the same spot. That will be easy to isolate as opposed to some of the other canvases I've seen where there are several sections of dark symbols all together really very easy to look at especially with a light pad can you imagine with a light pad and then of course keeping my glasses on <laughs> or remembering to put my glasses on so I'm not gonna go in too too close on this one but I did want to show you they have the legend on this side at the top uh, so this is your right hand side and then they have it on the left hand side on the bottom and actually they show the thumbnail on both which is is nice I mean it's not it's not necessary but <laughs> it is still nice to be able to see what the finished picture looks like and then the other thing I wanted to show you really really quickly and I'm gonna come back down again it does have the scalloped edging um, but this this I found out on my last one um, is stuck to the perforation okay so uh, it's perforated and this plastic is stuck in the perforation if you lift this not knowing that you may inadvertently rip your paper the wrong way um, so what I did once I figured that out because I did rip my paper the wrong way on the first one um, I just took something like my tweezers stuck it in there and then just kind of I don't know if you can see that but I'll just do that and actually it's a bit smoother than that it's just that I can't see what I'm doing because my camera's here but I probably would just run it up the side like that um, and that will detach it so that's on both sides it's not is it on the top if it is on the top I'm looking at it and it does look like the one corner might have it a little bit um, but it's not on the bottom it's not happening on the bottom as far as I can tell no it's not but both sides so just Really, when you're going around your edges, uh, make sure that you are paying attention to that because that could rip it the wrong way 
and you might not like that. One more thing I wanted to, sh or another thing I wanted to show you is the canvas quality itself. Take a look at this, you guys. I am pretty sure you can see how fuzzy that is. I said it feels like, in my last video, I think I said it feels like flannel sheets. I honestly, like that is what it reminds me of. It is so soft. It's almost like a fleece. It's just super, super soft and it, it it's pliable, but it feels really high quality. If you're looking for a, a higher quality diamond painting, this one so far is impressing me. And then at the top, it has their logo and it says unique art that sparkles. That's on their um, canvas bag as well that it comes in. And then just one other thing I wanted to point out here, free ah damn insurance. That means if you drop a tray and lose all your diamonds or whatever, they will help you. And it says they're five star in satisfaction. Um, just contact them and they will try to make it right. So really, really like that. Um, they also share all of their social media links. Whoa. So you know this is, this is a company that has been well thought out to some degree. Yeah, you guys, I'm really, really happy with it. The drill field is just gorgeous. So just to get, give you guys a really quick view also, um, their diamonds are fantastic. Like they're, they're really night and day above anything that you'll get, or at least anything that I've gotten so far off of AliExpress or Amazon. They're not clumping together. They don't feel oily. I don't know if they're static in them, but they don't seem like they're staticky to any degree. But like, I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with the quality. Let's see if this will focus in here. There we go. The quality is, it just looks really, really good. I'm not gonna show them all to you um, because the first time I tried to film this, my, uh, I made a big mess <laughs> and I just don't want to, um, go through trying to organize it again, but I think you guys get the idea. So, uh, final thoughts guys, Th this, this company so far is impressing the heck out of me. They have by far the best kit that I've seen and you know, it's not, and they also give you the option not to take the kit if you, if you already have lots. So it's like, a nice little way to not waste if you don't want to or if you don't need to. I love the, the packaging. I mean, the packaging is fantastic, you guys. I have heard some people say that uh, sometimes they get their paintings bent. None of mine came like that. They all came in a box that fit them perfectly. They all came in uh, this canvas drawstring bag, which I really like. It keeps the dust off everything. Um, and until I'm ready to paint those, I know that they're protected pretty good. The drills are in really great shape. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I, I don't know. I hope I hit on all the points that I wanted to. But so far, this, this company impresses the heck out of me. And I've been very happy with everything that I've seen so far. I have two, two more paintings to go. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. That just helps me know that people like what I'm doing. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this. And you know what? Just take a moment in your day to find something that makes you smile. Please stay safe, you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.